Uh, thank, thank you for, for inviting me to this, this event. event. I, I hear that the SDS Fund, founded in 2004 by former Minister of Finance, Omi Koji, is marking its 20th anniversary this year. I'm delighted to be able to join Chairman Kogiyama and all of you in attendance here today in this celebratory milestone evening. During the two decades uh, since the founding of this poem, science and technology have brought significant advances to society and our lifestyle. I have high hopes that the popularization of science and technology, in other words, the development of a society where everyone can benefit from science and technology, will gain further prevalence in the coming decades. For example, generative AI is set to potentially bring revolutionary progress to society, especially in the field of industry, healthcare, and education. I myself have engaged in dialogues with developers and young researchers working with generative AI and have participated in a symposium at the University of Tokyo. During my summer break, I also took part in a generative, generative AI training course uh, where Japan's prominent AI researcher, Professor Matsuo Yutaka of the University of Tokyo, uh, provided a hands-on tutorial on pro programming for development of large language models. Such a practical experience has given me a renewed appreciation to the potential of generative AI. I anticipate that the technology will further popularize science and technology in the coming era, uh, making our lives even more convenient. Meanwhile, uh, concerns has, have been raised by issues such as disinformation, privacy, and copyright protection, which we need to address. To this end, at the G7 Hiroshima Summit, I chaired this past May, we agreed on a vision of trustworthy AI and I propose uh, the launch of the Hiroshima AI process. With a view to ensuring trustworthy AI, Japan is now taking the lead in international rulemaking on governance and transparency. Here at the SES Forum, I hope to hear the views of experts from various nations, including non-G7 members, regarding issues surrounding generative AI. It is not only generative AI, but all areas of science and technology that have their lights and shadows or positive and negative sides. I perceive this to be a key theme that has been discussed since the foundation of the SPS forum. It is imperative that we keep driving innovation forward while honestly addressing the negative impacts on society and ethic issues to promote the appro appropriate use of science and technology for a sustainable future. 
international cooperation and human resources development, as well as science diplomacy, uh, indispensable in re resolving such global changes as climate change and energy problems. To this end, we agree at the G7 Hiroshima Summit to support the development of advanced technologies, research infrastructures, and highly skilled human resource networks, and to promote international talent mobility and circulation. Now, more than ever, we must push forward the global brain circulation that, that has been sold by the COVID-19 crisis. I firmly believe that Japan will take a lead in this endeavor. The SES Forum is an invaluable platform in that it gathers together opinion, opinion leaders from around the world to engage in discussions and networking from the shared center. I hope to see large numbers of scientists, corporate executives, and policymakers participate in the forum and expand the circle of collaboration in science and technology around the world. In celebrating the 20th anniversary of the forum, I would like to re-emphasize the significance of the peaceful uses of science and technology and relevant international collaborations. At the G7 Hiroshima Summit, world leaders visited the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and exchanged words over an atomic bomb survival, reaffirming the value of life and the preciousness of peace. The Kyoto International Conference Center, the venue of this forum, is where Dr. Yukawa Hideki, Japan's first Nobel Prize laureate, hosted the country's first published symposium at which scientists gathered from around the world to discuss world without nuclear weapons in 1975. This conference center was also where the Kyoto Protocol was adopted in 1997, serving as the point for concerted worldwide efforts to tackle the global issue of climate change. I'm delighted that discussions for the future of science and technology will be held at this venue, where such historic events take place in pursuit of peace and resolution of global issues. Uh, we must, while heriting the legacy of the past 20 years, consider how we will move forward into the future. I am convinced that science and technology hold one of the keys to realize the ideal future we envision. In closing, I would like to pose you these questions. What kind of future do you wish to create? And how should we develop and use science and technology to create such a future. We look forward to your lively discussions. Thank you for your participation and attention.